These are the speed and velocity notes. And so in class, um, we're just starting to talk about ways to describe motion. We've already talked about distance and displacement. And now we're talking about another way to describe the motion of the object, the speed. And so it says here for the warm up, write your answer to the first question, then fill in the table with all the scientific units of distance and time we've learned so far this year. And so what is speed? Most students are gonna say something about like how fast an object goes, right? And so we have some concept of speed in our lives. Um, we've seen speed limit signs, right? And those are in miles per hour here in the United States. Uh, and so we're gonna kind of build on what we already know to learn more scientifically how to find the speed of an object. So units of distance, we reviewed this actually yesterday in class. The units of distance that we should use are centimeters, um, meters, kilometers, um, maybe millimeters, right? And so these are all scientific units of distance. We haven't talked about units of time. Um, seconds, which is an S symbol, just S, is seconds. Minutes, which would be M-I-N, or hours, which we can denote as H. And we can use other units for time, but these are the ones that you'll most likely see. And so the actual definition of speed is the distance an object travels per unit of time. Okay, and so um, I'm gonna just write this up here. You're familiar with MPH, which in our terms is miles per hour. And so if you look at this a little closely, miles is our unit of distance, and hour is a unit of time. And so this is, uh, th this is how you would read this. So miles per hour, or you could do mi for miles per h, which is hour. So that per sign right there, that per word, um, is the same as like a uh, slash. So if you said like $4 per pound, you would have like $4 per um, lb, right? You might see it something like that. So back down here, um, so we see that distance per time. And that gives us this equation. So now this is speed is a definition. This is a vocabulary term. But speed equals distance per time. You can also say that as distance divided by time. And we'll do some examples with this here in just a little bit. And so and then it says units of speed. And so I've already said in science, we never have numbers without units. We have to have a unit anytime we have a number. And so in science, the units for speed are the unit of distance, per, let me put that in parentheses, unit of time. So unit of distance, whatever your unit of distance is, per unit of time. And so here are some examples. Maybe we do centimeters per second, or maybe we do kilometers per hour. And this is actually what you'll see in vehicles made not in the United States. They have, instead of miles per hour on that uh, speedometer, it has kilometers per hour. Meters per second is one of the most common that you'll see. So M for meters slash S second, so meters per second, okay? And so it could be millimeters per second. It could be kilometers per minute. It could be any unit of distance per unit of time. Okay, and so here are some examples that we can look at. So speed practice problems. For each of the following, set up the speed equation and find the speed for the object. So remember, speed equals distance divided by time. And so for each of these, you could do speed equals the distance four meters divided by the time two seconds. And so four divided by two, you divide the numbers and your unit is meters and then that is per s second. So an object that goes four meters in two seconds, its speed, its average speed 
is two meters per second. Okay, this next one, uh, the speed equals 45 meters. Sorry, its distance is 45 meters, and it takes nine seconds to do that, so it goes 45 meters in nine seconds, which if you divide 45 divided by nine, that is five, yes, five meters per second. Okay, and so go ahead and try to do the rest of those, and then you can pause the video, try to do the rest of them, and then I'll go over the rest of them with you. Okay, so your speed equals 18 meters divided by two seconds, which is nine meters per second. And I, um, I'm gonna ask you to show your work on these problems, and you might be like, well, I can do 18 divided by two in my head, great but I want you to set this up so that I can see what you're dividing by because in the future, you might get like a word problem and you'll get two numbers and the units, but it won't tell you distance equals this or time equals this. And so it's important that you know we have to do the distance divided by the time. And if you set this up, you'll see M is meters, which is a unit of distance. S is seconds which is a unit of time. So make sure that you write this out each time. So for this one, speed equals um, 70 meters divided by seven seconds is 10 meters per second. And then this last one, speed equals 36 meters divided by six seconds, which equals um, six meters per second. So now if I asked you which of these things is going the fastest, um, because that's something we'll talk about, like which objects are going faster or slower. Um, the one with the bigger speed is going the fastest. The one with the slowest, the lowest number is going the slowest. It's same with like if, because sometimes kids just look at um, what the time is, right? And so this has, this has a low time, that has a low time, but you have to consider the whole thing and what the speed is because um, sometimes when I ask students what is going the fastest, they just look at the lowest, um, but look at the speed and think of it this way. If you are in a car, if you're going 70 miles per hour, uh, you're going faster than if you go 30 miles per hour. So the higher the number of speed with your unit speed, that's the faster object. 